Okay, welcome back, ENG 460. Last time we designed an ALU. And the ALU had two inputs, had a 32-bit input here and a 32-bit input here. And um, this 32 input down here it comes from a 2 to 1 MUX. So this 32-bit input could be um, the output of our register, which we haven't built yet, or it could be the output of our sign extender, which we have. Okay, and we'll have to connect that up in the MIPS.VHD file. But right now, what I want to do is do a test bench on the ALU just to make sure it works. And we designed an ALU to uh, do a bitwise AND, bitwise OR, add, subtract, set less than, and a um, logic or bitwise NOR, I think, yeah. So we have a control line coming into here, and I think that's 4 bits. 2 to the 4 is 16, so this ALU can do 16 things. We're only going to implement a few of them. Okay. So as a review, let's go over here and look. We see... Um, you know, we did a MUX, we did a test bench on a MUX, we did a sign extender, we did a test bench on a sign extender. Um, we did the ALU, but we don't have a test bench on that. Okay? Now, the overall MIPS is this guy right here. And currently, our MIPS just has a MUX and a sign extender into it, and we'll want to put an ALU in there eventually. Um, and then, of course, MIPS has a test bench. So right now, let's open up our ALU. Okay? And then there's our input, A1, A2, the control, 4 bits. ALU result, a zero flag, um, and then we just have a case statement in our process. If we're doing a bitwise AND, if control is equal to zero, 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 and bitwise AND, bitwise OR, addition, subtraction, set less than, and then there's a logical NOR, and then a NOOP. So what we want to do now is set up a test bench file. Right, so let's do that, VHDL test bench, TB, um, ALU, okay, a test bench file. So we've got test bench file here. We do next, and it says, okay, well, if you want to test something, which component do you want to test? Well, I want to test my ALU. Right. And finish. All right. Well, let's come down to here and uh, delete this stuff. Now, we're going to need, uh, let's say we're going to need that guy. I'm not sure we're going to need that guy. Now, I don't like the 87 instantiation format, so I'm going to get rid of that. And I'm not using any clocks here, so I'm going to get rid of that. And then I have to change this instantiation from VHDL87 to VHDL93. Entity work dot behavioral. And there's my port map. All right, so we're good there. And then let's see, we're not going to have any clocks in here, so let's take this guy out. And let's uh, modify the body of our stimulus process and this will give me my zoom to full view capability okay. and let's see um, again I want to change these guys to test bench underscore so let's do that okay. just prefix them with a TB for test bench and then when I do my instantiation I have to change their names also Okay. Yeah. All right. So you know the variables on the left are part of the component. The ones on the right are signals in the t current test bench file. Okay. Now let's see. In our stimulus process, what I'm going to do is I am going to do several cases. TB, uh, ALU, control. We'll set that equal to one, two, three, four. And let's see. What's that guy? That guy is um. That is a bitwise and right. Okay. All right, so let's do that. Let's control C on that. We'll copy that like five times. And this will be a bitwise OR. And I think a bitwise OR has a one here. And this one will be addition. I think addition had what? Was that two? Yeah. And then what was subtraction? I can't remember what subtraction was. Uh, let's see. Where's subtraction? So let's see, uh, 0, 1, 2. Subtraction was 0, 1, 1, 0. Okay. Subtraction was 1, 1, 0. And then I think actually the next one was a set less than. And what was the control signal for a set less than? Uh, 0, 1, 1, 1. Okay, so that would be a 0. 111 and then the last one was a bitwise nor okay what was the 
control bits on that. Uh, 1100. Okay, so let's put that into there. Okay, so here I'm setting up my ALU control. It's going to tell the ALU what to do. And we want to wait. Okay, so let's uh, wait for maybe uh, 50 nanoseconds. Okay. And then uh, let's see, scroll this up here. And then what I want to do is just copy that guy. So every time I change the ALU control, I'm going to wait. Okay. And let's see, I think that's it pretty much. Yeah, we just, uh, oh, we have to set up our input on the ALU. Okay, what's the input? Well, the input is TB. So TBA1, and let's give that guy a value. Maybe we'll give that a value of um, hex. One, two, three, four, and then how about a one, two, three, yeah, I'll just do something easy since we, so we can just uh, re, you know, s do it by inspection. And let's make this guy, how about a negative one? There you go. Yeah, negative one. All right, so I've set up my two inputs, A1, A2, and then I've set up my control for different scenarios, and, or, add, subtract, set less than, nor, and let's see what happens. So we go back to here. Let's uh, click on ALU. Make sure we have a, a correct syntax in the ALU. Then in the test bench file, let's check syntax on that guy. Kay. And then select the test bench file and simulate behavioral model. And let's see what happens here. Let's see if our ALU can uh, implement those uh, different functions. Okay. So let's come back to here, back to here, zoom to full view, and notice right here, um, my ALU control is zero, and that's saying a bitwise AND. Okay, well, what's on input one? Input one currently has a three. Input two has an F. If I do a bitwise AND, zero ANDed with F is zero, 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 and three ANDed with F should give me a three, and there's my result. So that was the AND. Then I changed my ALU control to one, and that was a bitwise OR. Zero, and, or zero ORed with F is F. Three ORed with F is F, and I get quad F, quad F. All right, that's good. Then I change it to 2, and that's an addition. I'm taking 3 plus a negative 1. 3 plus a negative 1 is 2. Okay. Then I do subtraction. Okay. I take 3 minus a negative 1. 3 minus a negative 1 should give me a, neg a 4. Yeah, 3 minus a negative 1 is a positive 4. Okay. Then here we do a set less than. A set less than if the first argument is... Le no, actually, this is, is this a set less than? Set less than, okay, that doesn't look right. Set less than, when I have a seven, is three set less than. No, I think that should be, um, I don't know, hold on a sec here. Okay, it looks like uh, testing has actually surfaced a bug in our code because um, at this point right here, we have a seven and that's a set less than and we're setting our output. Is three less than negative one? Well, no. So we shouldn't be setting, but we are. So um, th uh, our set less than implementation is not acting like the set less than um, co uh, or opcode or command according to our green sheet. So what we really need to do is go back and look and see what's happening here. And what's happening is these are standard logic vector. I'm comparing them, but um, the implementation here is treating these guys as unsigned quantity, where the actual set less than command, unless you explicitly use set less than unsigned, it treats these guys as signed quantity. So I need to put those inside a signed typecasting. All right, let's do that and see what the output is. If I recompile the ALU, and then I, um, I'll do another simulation. Here we have to close this guy. And let's do another simulation. Yeah, so I'm trying to mimic that set less than command, but um, my code didn't actually um, do it right. Well, I think typecasting with sign here should fix that. And let's see, does it? All right, so at this point right here, I've got a 7 set less than. Is 3 less than a negative 1? No, it's not. The output should be 0. But notice the 0 flag also got asserted because the ALU output was 0. And then here on C, that corresponds to a NOR. 
Well, that would just be my OR, which was case 1, complemented. Quad F, quad F complemented gives me 0, 0. And again, my 0 flag is set. All right? OK. I think I'm going to stop there. And we have successfully tested our ALU. And we actually found a bug in it that we fixed. Well, that was wonderful. Great.